All right, so today I'm going to be talking about the uh, 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 the EB family, uh, Ebe, uh, whatever, I don't care. Today we're going to be talking about this channel with 7 million subscribers, okay, keep that in mind. They basically made a video criticizing Lunchables and talking about how poor they are or whatever. This is not for people who don't have money. This is for lazy people. I said it. Uh, yeah, that's really easy to say when you average around $100,000 per month, but okay. But yeah, you guys seem to really enjoy that creepy dad video that I made where I kind of just ranted a bit while watching something. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that again. If you guys really enjoy hearing me complain, then I'll, I'll be sure to do this more. So yeah, let's begin. All right, so how's it going, everybody? All right, so rich people are pretty cool. They make a lot of money. I, I love to be rich. All right, that would be pretty great. My $5 in PayPal just really isn't cutting it right now. But there's nothing, like, solely wrong with the rich people, okay? They make money. Nothing wrong with that, all right? We all love money. But when it gets to the point where you're a rich person making fun of poor people for not having as much money as you, then you're kind of a dick. I gotta say this because we're taking a look at a pretty rich family here, all right? They, 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 they have a pretty nice income. They basically made a video in the past where they kind of, like, insulted Lunchables or whatever, and then inside of the comments, they got a bunch of hate. And they decided, hey, grr, internet trolls, oh my god, let's respond so they make an entire video where they kind of make food from scratch or whatever and then they go ahead and say oh well you can't use the argument that lunchables are, are, are for poor people because they cost so much money grr 16 dollars a week blah 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 as if anybody really cares i really just don't care at all but it just kind of annoyed me a bit so i decided hey miss we'll complain about it on a video no hard feelings to the family or anything it, it's not that big of a deal so uh yeah let's get started do you know what it smells like? It smells like a fart. It smells, um... <laughs> We've barely even started the video, and I'm already pretty upset. This girl literally has no soul. I guess that growing up in a million-dollar house and constantly having a camera inside of her face has given her quite the picky lifestyle. Like, I'm guessing that she's, like, 10 or 11, and when I was 10 or 11, I kind of loved Lunchables, man. They were my life. Any kid who doesn't feel that way has no soul, and they should probably be eradicated really quickly. Boom, 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 boom. We're getting started. We're getting started. We're getting started. We're getting started. Kids are in school getting their education. We're here filming. What are we filming? A terrible video. Because I read a lot of comments in our gummy food versus real food where our daughter was having the Lunchables and she didn't really like it. So let's read some of those comments. The Lunchables prove how pampered these brats are. Hmm. Rich kids never have eaten Lunchables. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard to be mad at the people who are commenting this stuff. These kids were literally kind of born into luxury. Their parents make $100,000 a month. They're probably living the dream life. Like, how spoiled do you have to be for you to not enjoy simple things like Lunchables? I guess when you grow up eating caviar, it's kind of hard to enjoy. I wasn't a rich kid, and I never ate Lunchables. Mm. That's really easy to say when you're a multi-millionaire. I mean, that's a pretty nice house you got there. And I gotta say that I really doubt that you got it from being poor. We're calling out the people who complained that our kids are rich kids, saying that that's why they didn't <laughs> eat Lunchables. It's the complete opposite people right, right. yeah because you guys are extremely poor right this video that i'm watching right now literally has 10 million views uh, uh, that's like ten thousand dollars how are you gonna sit here and complain about people calling you rich when you're literally so wealthy the least you could do is ignore the hate you know act like you don't see it because at the end of the day does it really matter you have 7.5 million subscribers who watch your content on a daily basis pretty much if i were living that lifestyle i wouldn't give a crap about the hate bro i'd be making my money i'd be entertaining people i would just live my life they're just at a point where they shouldn't care at this point they have 7 million subscribers you know they should be used to getting hate comments. If it's not something life-threatening, then it's not worth calling out. Honestly, any of these comments that were shown inside of the video threatening the child's life or threatening the parent's life or anything, it's just the parents being called rich. No big deal whatsoever. I don't see why they care so much, but whatever, man. Let's keep going. Lunchables are not designed for people who struggle financially. No, we had never bought them. And so after reading those comments, I thought to myself, oh, okay, I guess these things are like 99 cents. These things cost $3.29. Now this one's just a flat out lie. They cost $1.79 according to Walmart. To save you guys the trouble, inside of the next part of the video, they just kind of start doing a bunch of mental math and saying, oh, that's like $20 a week. Well, one times five, that's a good five, six dollars a week for, for lunchable lunch every single day. An average school lunch is $2.70 and that multiplied by five is like uh, something, I don't know, put it up on screen. My point is that their video is wrong. They didn't put in the right research. They, they just kind of wanted to throw up some big numbers on screen so they can make it seem more convincing that they're right. The least that they could have done is thrown up a screenshot pretty much listing the price of a Lunchable. But the fact that they just kind of threw a random number out there to try to make it sound way more severe than it actually is is kind of funny. $3.29 each a day. You're making five lunches a week. That's $16.45 per child. Where are any of these numbers coming from? She's just kind of randomly saying, oh yeah, this is $3.79. Like, wh where? Who told you this? Like, where did you find this out? Can I get a receipt? Can I get a price tag? These are the nachos. I like nachos. Nerd candy. This is a hamburger. This 
and this bread. That's not this a hamburger. Bread. This is bread. That is not a hamburger. Honestly, I really don't know what type of quality they were expecting from this. Like at the end of the day, it's literally a Lunchable. Like what were you expecting to see? This lady wanted some dipping sauce, a gold plated bun, a damn silver patty. Like lady, $1.79 really can't get you that much. I'm pretty sure Miss Monkey unboxed one of these squishies about two weeks ago. Nuggets and candy. This is not for people who don't have money. This is for lazy people. I said it, I said it. Yeah, because this video is the pinnacle of effort. Honestly, all they really had to do was buy a bit of food and then just record themselves doing it with a bunch of jump cuts in there. It's really sad that my video on these people takes more effort than their actual video to begin with. Like, it's pretty hard, man. I had to beg Scrubby to record me some gameplay. I, I had to edit. It I it's tough. Can I get a medal? This is for people who don't want to prepare real food, okay? Because preparing real food takes work. You know, looking at it from a viewpoint of a poor person, I feel like they would have to, you know, spend most of their time working to provide for their family so they wouldn't have time to sit down and make food. I'm not poor or anything, but just like assuming, I'm pretty sure a poor person wouldn't have time to just come home and, and buy a bunch of ingredients for a nice dinner for their family. Here at the EB family, though, they're very, very poor, all right? They don't have enough time to use their brains to think about things from other people's perspectives, all right? They, they, they're having a tough time. The EB family is actually poor, guys. Come on. Parenting takes work. Cleaning your house takes work. I doubt that you're much of a good parent. I mean, all you do is really shove a camera inside of your kid's faces all day. And I also really doubt that you clean your house yourself. You probably have a maid. And saying that you eat that because of the cost, you're lying to yourself. Yeah. And I'll show you why. Honestly, I'm not even poor and I'm offended by this video. A person making stick figures is kind of complaining right now about a poor person's lifestyle and I think that's pretty funny. It's like a fat white lady getting offended over being called the N-word. Like, it just doesn't match up. This video is dedicated to those people who said that. I am going to prepare three different lunches for children that are way cheaper and I'm using actual real food. Okay, once again, if somebody is poor, they probably don't have time to make this stuff. Imagine a poor woman who works like 12 hours a day having the energy to come home and cook up a nice hot meal for her family. Honestly, if I were poor, I would do whatever I can. You know, you can't strive to do things that you aren't capable of at that point in time. I've always hated how people can know nothing about a person or a group of people and always try to relate to them. Like with the entire scenario of a white woman being called the N-word and getting offended, like it, it genuinely just doesn't make sense at all. If you're making millions of dollars every single year, then y you aren't really in the right position to talk about being poor. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she grew up poor and then just randomly became rich. You never know. I've never met a child that does not love spaghetti, but I'm gonna make the sauce <gasps> what? with real tomatoes. What? 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 Tomatoes? Ah! You know, I can make a lot of different jokes right now, but it's not even worth my time. I'm just gonna act like I didn't see anything. I'm gonna pulse it. It's not liquidy. There's still a few chunks in there of the tomatoes. Look how much tomato sauce from four tomatoes. Why does it look like a toilet after somebody eats five Lunchable pizzas? I don't think that's tomato sauce, ma'am. You did something wrong. I'm gonna cut into my garlic now. I'm gonna take three or four of these. Honestly, I'm not here to see a cooking show. I kind of just want to get mad at her, so uh, I'm gonna fast forward. So how's your day going? Mine's going pretty bad. I have to sit here and record this dumb video about this lady. I, I really don't like this lady. I don't like her content. I don't like her family. This is all just kind of annoying to me. You know, you guys really liked it when I was pissed off last time making that creepy dad video, so I guess I have to do it again now. I'm just an angry teenager, man. What can I say? And she's back. And I'm still less then what I would have paid for five days of Lunchables is still $11.08. When you take into account the fact that she's actually kind of lying here and the Lunchables really aren't as expensive as she's making them out to be, you start to realize that the Lunchables will be only like $8.50 a week. So I really don't know why this lady's complaining so hard, but yeah. The fact that she felt the need to make an entire 15 minute long video on people calling her rich is kind of kind of sad. But uh, yeah, let's continue watching this. Wow. Versus $16.45 it would have cost for a week. Even if she were right, I, I really don't see why she cares that much. If people on the internet want to go ahead and complain and say that they're poor, then uh, that, that's, that's what they want to do. It's, it's a YouTube comment section. This lady is literally fighting a YouTube comment section right now, and that's a battle that you don't want to get into. But there were just a few people who said, well, Lunchables are for people with no money, and you guys are rich and spoiled, so that's why you guys don't eat Lunchables. You have no idea what we've been through in life. You guys are like 40 years old fighting a YouTube comment section. It's really not that deep. They really don't need to know your entire life story. They don't need to know what you've been through. They, they don't care. Oh, Oh, girl, how dare the internet not know about my problems? At the end of the day, you have 7 million people backing you up, and I'm probably gonna get hate for this video anyways. So what's the point in devoting all this time and money on responding to a YouTube comment section? No. When the kids were little, we lived in a basement apartment. We had no money. I had to stretch $20 to feed four people, and so I became very creative 
and how to feed the family. Honestly, man, the YouTube comment section is full of a bunch of savages. They really couldn't care less. They aren't gonna sit here and start crying because they feel bad for you or anything, man. I'm sorry to break it to you. Yeah, that's nacho cheese. Oh my- So what do you say to the people who say that you don't eat that because of money-wise? Like, why do you think mama and papa don't give you that? Because mama and papa are not lazy. It would be pretty easy for me to start making fun of this little girl, but she's a little girl, so I don't really want to make fun of her. And secondly, I feel like her parents just fed her those lines. I honestly doubt that as a little kid, you'd have that embedded into your brain that your parents aren't lazy, so that's why they don't give you Lunchables. I mean, she's pretty much saying word for word her parents said earlier inside of the video. Let's look. This is not for people who don't have money. This is for lazy people. I said it. I said it. Like, why do you think mama and papa don't give you that? Because mom and papa are not lazy. I said it! Yeah, you said it to your daughter for your video. <laughs> <laughs> This is honestly so rehearsed that it's kind of funny at this point. You have to be really lazy to give your kid these. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this is gonna have to be the end of the video right here. Oh, man. Today, we learned a few things, okay? The EB family is actually poor. They don't know how to do actual math. And I also learned that I wasted a lot of time making this entire video. If you watched this video to the very end, then make sure to comment lol your mom. I appreciate you sticking through if you did. It's Friday, even though it's Thursday when I'm recording this. I'm kind of a liar. But this video is going out on Friday, and you guys will have new videos on Saturday and Sunday. I love you all. All thanks for all of the support recently and uh yeah i'll see you all tomorrow with a new video goodbye and before the video is over i just have to say that that you know i have no problem with the family whatsoever i don't hate that that person's family i don't hate the the youtubers that i talked about today or, or anything like that so don't send them hate okay if a fan of the ev channel sees this and they get all mad or defensive then just know that i don't mean what i'm saying it's it, it, it's just a video on youtube so don't take anything too personally and uh yeah follow me on twitter and i'll see you guys later goodbye they say talk about your problems, okay, where do I begin? Lately I've been chilling and sipping on a few Heinekens Wishing I could kill myself, reviving and just die again I'm looking at the stars and thinking I wish I could fly with them Grab a swish of tuck and roll, huff it in my lungs and nose Keep on puffing up the smoke and watch as all my problems blow To the winners, they get scattered like the ashes